So now we're going to look at an example, an example experiment, which are going to call my garden tomatoes. So I have a pretty big garden at home, and every spring I try to decide on a new scheme uh, to try to grow healthier plants. So I'm mostly worried about tomato plants, so those are my subjects. I have other things in the garden, but tomatoes are my favorite. And the two factors that we're going to study uh, each year is how much water and how much sun benefits the tomatoes the best. And I use a drip system, so it doesn't use a whole lot of water, but it tends to, uh, it tends to, to dry out pretty quickly. So I can water either morning and evening or just one day morning or every two days. That's my watering schemes. Ordinarily one of those works okay. And then in terms of sun, full sun, 10% shade, 20% shade are possibilities for the amount of sun they might have. And so the treatments I want to investigate involve all the combinations of watering and sun. One way to see them is to make a table like this where the water schemes are across the top here two times, one times, every two days. And then the sun schemes are horizontal, full sun, 10% shade, 20% shade. Then each of these spots, say here, treatment four, can be identified as coming from a watering scheme and a sun scheme. So there's nine possible combinations, three for each. So three times three, it turns out, since it's this square. And then the response variable is going to be health of the plants. No problem. So now we're we'll figuring out, well, how can we carry out the experiment? Well, there's two ways. One way to carry it out is what you might call an uncontrolled setting. Uncontrolled means there might be other variables that are impacting the results uh, that might be causing us to report a certain level of water and sun as being better than another besides just water and sun. It's uncontrolled. There's other things that are varying that we're not controlling for. So the way we do that is we try each of nine combinations of water and sun. So each of these combinations we'll try for a two-week period. Record the health at the end of each two weeks. And we're wondering about possible confounding variables. So the question is, since we do this two weeks at a time, we try one strategy for two weeks, another strategy for two weeks, and so on. Uh, there's something else that could be d determining how healthy the plants are, and that would be uh, the weather in those two weeks. All the aspects, how much sun, how much rain, the temperature. So that's a possible, con all those are possible confounding variables that the weather might be responsible for what happens to the plants. And then we've got another one, which is less, less obvious unless you garden a lot, would be the, uh, the garden pests that are present during that period might impact the health of the plants and not the watering scheme. So sometime in those two weeks, we'll have a lot of grasshoppers. They'll try to kill everything, and that'll make the plants less healthy. Maybe we'll get some of those spider mites. Who knows what else might show up on tomatoes. So garden pests and the weather could be responsible. And since those change in an uncontrolled way, every two weeks they're going to be different. Uh, your watering scheme is also different. Those, the weather changes at the same time the watering scheme changes, and we don't know which one's responsible for the results. Could be the weather, could be the watering. So they're called confounding variables. So that's what happens when you have an uncontrolled experiment. Other things change at the same time the treatments change, and we don't know which one's responsible for the results. So we could try doing a controlled experiment. The controlled experiment would be to take the whole garden, divide it into nine plots, it's similar to this pattern here, and subject each plot to one of the treatments. So I take my garden, it's like 35 by 20, it's big, divide it up into nine pieces. I have raised beds, I could make nine different raised beds in different corners of the garden, and then subject them to different watering by setting my timers differently for every, bo for every box, and then apply shade cloth, 
over some of the boxes and not over the others. And then I could watch to see what happens and go through the entire summer and see which watering strategy works. So this is better because um, uh, now we know water and sun are responsible for the health of the plants. Well, to the extent that that's the only difference. Of course, the weather might have been bad for plants, so they're all not very healthy. Or it might have rained too much, so they're all too wet, or it might not rain enough, they're all too dry. But the only difference in the garden between the way the plants, what the plants have experienced, is the treatment. So having a control experiment allows us to know that what we did is what's responsible for what happened. It's also a little bit more realistic because it happens, we could run this over the whole summer and that would tell us over the whole summer if we kept one watering scheme and, and one level of sun, which, which version of the watering and sun seems to be most beneficial for the tomato plants. Of course, maybe that's not how you garden. Maybe you change the watering and the sun depending on the part of the summer. When it's really sunny, maybe you want some shade. When it's not, maybe you have zero shade. It gets more complicated. But this simple experiment just says what general strategy would work if you applied it over the whole summer to give the healthiest plants. And this would be the best way to figure it out. Um, the, the only downside to this is that uh, I'm using up my whole garden to grow tomatoes and that's not all I want to do. If I could just do this thing up here, I could just run each of the combinations over just one box and just see what happens. But then I don't know whether it was this, this, or something else that caused it. So there's pluses and minuses in a controlled experiment, generally more expensive, a larger scale enterprise. An uncontrolled experiment, you're not as sure that what you think is the explanatory variable actually caused the impact because other things varied at the same time. We used up another screen and uh, getting close to the middle of the section and we'll uh, pick it up in a minute.